May 1st. Insight, not emotion. I have to lead my life in faith without seeing him. 2 Corinthians 5 7. For a time, we are conscious of God's attention. Then, when God begins to use us in his enterprises, we take on a pathetic look and talk of the trials and the difficulties and all the time God is trying to make us do our duty as obscure people. None of us would be obscure spiritually if we could help it. Can we do our duty when God has shut up heaven? Some of us always want to be illuminated saints with golden halos and the flush of inspiration and to have the saints of God dealing with us all the time. A guilt-edged saint is no good. He is abnormal, unfit for daily life, and altogether unlike God. We are here as men and women, not as half-fledged angels, to do the work of the world, and to do it with an infinitely greater power, to stand the turmoil because we have been born from above. If we try to reintroduce the rare moments of inspiration, it is a sign that it is not God we want. We are making a fetish of the moments when God did come and speak, and insisting that he must do it again, whereas what God wants us to do is to walk by faith. How many of us have laid ourselves by, as it were, and said, I cannot do any more until God appears to me? He never will, and without any inspiration, without any touch of God, we will have to get up. Then comes the surprise. Why, he was there all the time, and I never knew it. Never live for the rare moments. They are surprises. God will give us touches of inspiration when he sees that we are not in danger of being led away by them. We must never make our moments of inspiration our standard. Our standard is our duty.